Hello everyone, welcome back to Mod Review. Today we will be taking a look here at lots of new mods. All the links can be found down below in the description of today's review. Up first we'll be taking a look here at two Alfa Romeos. Fun fact, Alfa Romeo is an Italian car company. We'll be taking a look here at a sedan in an SUV. In this store they're both found here under the cars category. The sedan is the Alfa Romeo Giulio Quattrofolio with a starting price of $102,000 and 510 horsepower. Now it is color changeable here with a lot of new colors, very unique colors, colors that I have not seen on any other vehicle before and I will have to say this dark red uh, looks amazing there in metallic but also it does have some very nice uh, black and other colors as well and it does have an attacher joint here for a hitch. The Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quattrofolio $97,000 is the SUV. Once again, a very similar same engine at 510 horsepower and it does have the attacher here for the hitch. As we take a full walk around here guys and see this is pretty sweet. I really do like the license plate here to the side of it as well. Now one thing we got to get this switched over to American plates here but look at those wheels guys. Very unique wheels with big brakes on them. And around back, you guys can see this thing's very sporty. I, I am a very big fan of sports sedans. Uh, they're pretty much practical, but they're a ton of fun here. Let's take a look here at all the lights. And uh, this thing, I will have to say, in this red looks outstanding. On the first person view, it is uh, interior, but it's not too detailed. Really only has uh, the camera view there. Let's take this here for a quick spin. I'm really excited to be back here doing a review. Over the last week or two there have been a ton of mods and maybe there might be another review later on this week. And if you do enjoy today's review and today's content please leave a like. It's much appreciated here as it helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Now I will have to say the handling on this is right on. It's very sharp steering and this thing I will have to say also sounds pretty good. I'm really excited to have a few Alfa Romeos here in Farm Sim, especially uh, a matching SUV and sedan. Let's take a quick look here at the Stelvio. It's very similar, uh, just that it's the uh, SUV version, but wow, with the hitch. I mean, this might be perfect for the homeowner series if we could uh, get an interior on the inside. But look at those red calipers on the uh, blue paint really stand out in very unique colors, I will have to say as well. Up next, we will be taking a look here at a 2017 Ford F-250. Now, this version here of the truck is actually the high boy uh, version, which uh, some dealerships do uh, spend the extra money to get them built like this. And this store can be found under the cars category. It has a starting price of $41,000. It's very similar to the one that has been released, but it also does have the option here for the dark high boy and also uh, the high boy here, which has uh, this uh, rack in the front, the back rack, and the paint scheme as well. Now, this high boy definitely kind of looks uh, kind of eight. Uh, 1980s, uh, 1990s paint schemes, but I will have to say it looks pretty cool. Pretty big, beefy tires on it as well, and this thing looks awesome. Once we hop here on the inside, top speed is 75 miles per hour. All the lights do work here on it. Now, I have featured this truck in, I would say, three, four reviews by now. Uh, that's quite a lot, but so many just different versions, very unique versions of it have been released. I will have to say this thing just looks awesome. I'm actually a big fan of this truck. I'm not usually a fan of modified trucks, but this thing looks awesome. Might have to add this uh, or maybe even just use it here in, a, in a, a few videos. Up next we will be taking a look here at an international Durstall. Uh, this looks to be a single rear axle semi truck. In the store it can be found under the trucks category. It has a starting price of $12,000 here, no store options and 450 horsepower. As we take a full walk around you guys can see it's a pretty nice model here. Really do like the wheels on it, the steps and it is a very short frame. I guess it's going to be pretty maneuverable as well. Once we hop here on the inside top speed of 71 miles per hour, we'll take a look at everything. And it looks like we do have uh, lights but they just don't show up and it does have a first person view but it's not detailed. I kind of like the size of this, maybe on a small farm, maybe just get going on a farm, uh, this would, would be perfect. 
Up next, we'll be taking a look here at a Freightliner Day Cab. Once again, it's a smaller chassis with a single uh, rear axle there in the back. It's located under the trucks category here with a starting price of $27,000. There are quite a lot of options here. Lots of new colors for the cab. Uh, the bumper you could do, I uh, think, matching. You could actually do chrome bumper. Uh, you could change your frame. And then over here, you could get racks in the back, decals, uh, a few different come-ins, uh, a few different exhausts as well. Wow, that is a very tall exhaust. And finally, uh, you could get the steel wheels or the uh, chrome ones. As we take a full walk around here on you guys and see, very nice. I actually really do like this Freightliner model. Great looking truck. And we'll definitely be using this on the new farming series. Once we hop here on the inside, top speed is 75 miles per hour. We'll take a look at this. Looks like the majority of the lights do work here. Turn signals uh, work and everything like that. Now on the first, first going to be working mirror, steering wheel, and gauges. Now I will have to say, uh, this is a sweet interior here. And that thing looks awesome. Overall, one nice truck. Up next, we'll be taking a look here at a John Deere tractor, the 7930. Now, this is a two-wheel drive tractor. It's a pretty unique one. I don't really see too many uh, two-wheel drive tractors of this size. It's located under the cars category, 75 uh thousand dollars uh, starts it off at and this thing has uh, lots of options here so rear fenders uh, you could get uh, GPS engines attachers in the front and a few different wheels now it does have 220 horsepower and a front loader attachment as we do uh, take a full walk around on it guys since it's very nice here I actually kind of like the look of it at first I was thinking why don't we just do the full four wheel drive but this thing looks nice and that does save us a bit of cash as well uh, being just the two wheel drive. This thing looks pretty cool here. Now, this might be featured in the upcoming farming series that I am uh, getting uh, setting up. I really just want to fine tune it, make sure it's the best it's going uh, to be. Wow, this thing is awesome. Up next, we'll be taking a look here at a Kubota mower. In the store, can we be found under the mower category? It's a Kubota F3060 here. It has 30 horsepower and a mowing speed of 15 miles per hour. As we take a full walk around, you guys can see it's a very unique mower. It has a very interesting deck, and this was actually, I believe, converted from FS17. I actually released this model back in then, and it's been brought over here to 19 with a different deck on it. Wow, this thing looks awesome, I will have to say. Now, one thing it does not have is a deck that kind of moves around a little bit, but I really do like it. All the wheels do work here on it. The player sits nicely, and uh, wow, a pretty fast turn radius, but really do like uh, the wheels. The wheels are uh, realistic as well, which is great. Up next, we will be taking a look here at a very unique machine. Probably one of the first I've seen here is a small uh, kind of street sweeper uh, you use to clean up the areas around the animals. It can be found under the animal category. It has a starting price of $23,000. It's the AM317 here. It has 17 horsepower. Now, you could get it with a broom or without, and the color is only four. And it looks like the broom. As we take a full walk around, you guys can see it's a very interesting, very unique, and very detailed mod. Once we hop here on the inside, you guys can see it turns here with one wheel here in the back, and that is a pretty good turn radius, I will have to say. Just look at that. Oh, wow, that looks awesome. And a look at this first person view. It's a pretty unique one. Let's see if we can get it turned on here, get it lowered down. Not really sure if this is mouse controlled really quickly. Oh, yeah, looks like it is as well, which is awesome. That dumps there. Wow, that is a pretty unique mod. We'll check. I, it looks like you can't really uh, move the uh, broom back and forth, but uh, pretty cool. Up next, we'll be taking a look here at a JCB Mini Excavator. This can be found here under the miscellaneous category. Here are all of the buckets here. They're all $100, and the excavator is $8,500. It has a traveling speed of 3 miles per hour. Taking a first look here at it, I will have to say this is probably one of the best mini excavators I've seen here in the game. I really do like the size of this, and uh, this is very detailed as well, which is awesome. Really quickly, I just hopped out of that a little too fast there, but let's take a look at everything. And you could actually unfold this as well. Let's kind of see what that will do. And doesn't really seem to be doing too, too much there. 
And I, let's see, I don't really see any changes there, but I really do like this. And you guys can see full rotates, everything works on it as well. And it does have a first person view. Really do like this. Uh, definitely will be using this uh, coming up in the landscaping and uh, some other uh, videos. Up next, we'll be taking a look here at a Lizard PJ trailer. Gooseneck trailer. This is pretty much just a reskin of uh, the 20-foot uh, trailer we have here in FarmSim. It can be found under the low loaders category, $8,000, it's a 20 foot here, and there's just a few different wheel options here for it. Color changeable as well, actually some new colors in the rims, I do have a few different ones as well. Last up today, we'll be taking a look here at a few placeable mods. Up first, we have this uh, Garage Shed by Iconic Upgrades. Uh, this is very unique. I actually saw the pictures he posted of it in Blender as well. He did all the modeling work, and this thing looks awesome. Really do like this. The flooring looks great, and uh, it looks overall awesome. Up next, we will be taking a look here at this garage, kind of a European style garage. And there are three, four different versions here of it in the store, which are pretty neat. And this thing looks awesome here. Really do like it. A ton of rum as well. And the last few mods we'll take a look at here is this brand new uh, fencing, which is nice. And we do have this gate. A uh, look at that latch system work. Definitely want to have this gate in one of our videos uh, soon, maybe a series or two. And uh, we do have, I believe this is a log holder. We do have a few concrete things including this small uh, concrete pad. I hope you guys enjoyed today's mod review here on the Nebraska Lanes USA map. Lots of cool mods. Go check them out down below. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.